Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some must-know FL Studio shortcuts. Now these are shortcuts everybody must know. I think uh, majority of you might already know it, but essentially we're going to be using these shortcuts and utilizing them in our audio mixing and mastering. Okay, so let me play you a bit of this track. Then after we're going to get to the shortcuts. Lean, pirate swing, my hopper and chop man's hat. Then boy love talk on the net, but live in the flesh, then man turn flash. Okay, okay. So that's the track there. So. The main tools we need to use, first of all, we need to make sure that where it says typing keyboard to piano is off. So this button here, um, usually if it's grayed in like this, this means it's enabled. So you wanna make sure that's off. That way we can actually use the shortcut uh, that appears up here. You see it's P, um, B, uh, D, T, S, C, etc. okay? We're gonna make sure this is off like that, okay? Cool. Now, the ones we just mainly need to use, of course we can also, we, we already know that on our mouse, we can use, there's two functions on our mouse that we can kind of use automatically. Is the delete button by pressing the right click to delete, right? And you just press left click to kind of just draw. It's already enabled here, because this is the one that's already used, okay? So essentially what we want to do is eliminate our usage of going back here to press these buttons and kind of going back into the playlist and editing, okay? so. Uh, let's look at the first one. P, we already know that one, okay? The next one we need to know is this one. T and C. Those are the main ones you can I, I use on a regular basis, okay? So, for example, C. If I want to slice something out in, in, in the playlist, okay? I want to make some master. Say, for example, I wanted to slice out, let's say, this button here, this bit here, this empty bit here, okay? You should know how to zoom in. To zoom in, you press control and you kind of scroll in with your mouse wheel, okay? And to zoom out, you do the opposite scroll out and whilst holding control, okay? You can do that. Like that. Oops. Okay. So that's that there, okay? So what you want to do is instead of going to the slice tool up here by pressing this button and then zooming in and then slicing by holding down shift and left click and then slicing this section here again, then 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 going back here to press draw because you can't you can't delete it automatically. Instead because this is what a lot of people do, okay? They go back here, press draw, then they right click, okay? That's the longest way to do it. Okay, I'm going to undo all of that. The easiest way to do it, okay? The easiest way to do it is by pressing down C, okay? Hold down C for the slice tool. You see automatically the slice um, button or tool comes up. Zoom in again. Hold down shift and then left click on the bit you want to cut out there. And then you can also hold down shift uh, and then click, click here. That's one way to do it. Then you can press P. Then you can right click, okay? But there's an easier way to do that, okay? That's just uh, another longer way to do it, okay? The easier way I do it, um, okay, the easiest way to do it is by of course, using the slice tool by pressing down C, left click, so shift, left click, and then you want to do, what you want to do is also shift, hover over this section that you want to cut out, so shift, and then right click, okay, and then this um, vertical red line appears, wherever this line appears, it's going to cut out anything on the left to it, okay, or on the right to it, depending on where the other cut was made, so the cut was made here, the initial one, so if we right click and, um, and the bias for holding shift, I'm continually holding shift right here, it's going to cut that bit out, just like that simple okay we can also do the same thing here so first of all we're gonna left click we're gonna just do a normal cut okay let's do a normal cut then shift and then right click whilst you're holding a right click you can select any bit you want to cut out just like that okay and that's what i do when i'm mixing the master when i'm editing vocals for example if i want to take out a lot of breaths instead of going all the way here by pressing the slice tool and then going in here then um, cut another one here and then going to this button then right clicking that's long okay what you want to do uh, and what you want to usually do is just C, left click, and then whilst holding shift, right click, and then just drag over the bit you want to cut, just like that, okay? Let's say, for example, you wanted to mute something, because remember, what the main tools we're using is this, the draw, and the mute, and the slice, okay? Say, for example, you wanted to mute a certain a bit. You do the same thing. You kind of want to slice it out as well, then you mute, okay? Because to mute, you need to have like an individual um, audio file. So let's say you want to mute this section here, this word. Pagan. Pagan, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing by holding down shift and just selecting the bit I wanna kind of start the cut from, okay? Cut that bit out, and then let's say I'm Pagan, I wanna cut it from here. So I'm not gonna kind of um, do the hold down shift and right click. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna kind of delete it. Uh, the, anytime you see something red like that, it means it's gonna be deleted. So I'm just gonna do another cut here, okay? And then what you wanna do is press T, and then after this button comes up, and then you just select left click on the bit that you wanna mute. So now, I I see that pagan 100% I will It mutes that bit there Let's say you want to also wanted to mute something at the same time Press C Let's um not Yeah press C then cut that out And then press T And then yeah I see that 
100% I will back it out Rise that dot And that's one of the things that's kind of just I think everybody should know There's just some of the shortcuts there Of course you can There's also other things you can do There's more shortcuts that you can um, Learn and actually employ in your mixing and mastering But these are the ones that I think It's kind of overlooked a lot And uh, people don't necessarily tend to utilise them a lot And uh, yeah so for example If I wanted to cut this bit out again Press C And I can just Oops Depend. This, this is the thing that I need to kind of also tell you that if you do this, yeah, and it's it, it's vertical red, it's always going to cut out the shortest bit, okay? For example, what I mean by this, like, if I do it here, it's always going to cut that bit there. You see this bit here? If I cut it here, you kind of want to, you always want to make sure that it cuts out or you apply it to the bit that's short longer or shorter, if that makes sense. So, for example, if I wanted to cut this bit out, I'm going to start off around here. So you, get, you get what I'm saying? Because this is shorter than that bit there. So it's always going to cut out the shorter bit. It's always going to assume that you're cutting out the shorter bit. So if I wanted to cut out this bit here, I might have to do it in two steps. Instead of just doing it here, it will cut out this long bit here. So what I'll do is this, 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 and this. Done. So what I have to do is three steps instead of just doing that. But of course, what you could also do is press P and then just drag it like this. That's simple. Okay. Just drag it like that. That would have been easy as well. Okay. So those are some of the t um, tips there for audio ed editing there. I also do some other tips when it comes to recording as well um, and uh, yeah and whatnot. So if you go to the mixer here, if you want to do like a recording tip or a recording shortcut, just go to the mixer, insert, put your insert on and then arm it for recording. And then all you want to press is just R, okay? And then after it just arms it for recording, then you can press spacebar. I see that 100% I will back it out. Rise that dot. See and it records and then you press R again to disable the recording. So those are some of the tips there I think everybody should know. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.